hello and welcome back guys to the another video of the java tutorial series so guys this is the uh, i guess last video of the control statements so wherein we will be talking about java break java continue and what are java comments okay so let's just get started okay so what are java break so java break is a statement which is used to break a loop or a switch statement it breaks the current flow of the program at specified condition in case of the inner loop it breaks only the inner loop okay so here is a diagrammatic representation here you can see uh, one loop is uh, going on it, 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 it is iterating and one condition is defined inside that loop and if that condition becomes true uh, we will uh, declare a break statement there and it will break the loop uh, flow of the uh, loop and it will terminate that loop okay and where whenever that condition is evaluated as false the loop will again go and iterate 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 uh, until the specified condition becomes false okay so what is java continue okay so java continue statement is used to continue the loop it continues the current flow of the program and skips the remaining code at a specified condition in case of an inner loop it will continue the inner loop only okay so we'll be uh, talking in depth when we are going to code this java continue and at last java comments are there so what are the java comments the java comments are the statements in a program that are not executed by a compiler and an interpreter so basically there are three types of the java comments one is single line comment multi line comment and documentation comment so what is single line comment the single line comment is used to comment only one line so to declare a comment inside java java program we will just write two forward slashes are there so when you when you declare two two forward slashes and after that whatever you you will write that will be interpreted interpreted as a comment in java okay so what is multi line the multi line comment is used to comment a multiple lines of the code so when we are, when we are you are going to comment out the multiple lines of the code in java then you can use multi line code multi line comment sorry and third one is documentation comment so documentation comment is used to create a documentation api to create documentation api you need to use java doc tool so we'll be discussing more about documentation uh, comments in our upcoming videos when we are writing some code that is a production level code okay so let's code it guys i will come here inside my ide and i will create one java class name break break okay and let me just increase the font size and i will tell you one give you one simple example of the break okay and i here i am uh, writing one for loop which will iterate when i is equals to 1 and i is less than equals to 10 and each time my loop is increment i's value is incrementing by 1 okay so inside this sorry guys uh, i get i'm getting error because i forgot to write the main method and i should write all this code inside the main method my bad and inside this for loop i will declare one if statement and i will write that when i is equals to equals to 5 simply break okay and other than that if I come out of this loop uh, I will print the value of the i okay now if I click on run so here you can see one two three four is going to print it on the screen and when the value value of the i is incremented and when the value of the i is becomes five it will check whether the five is less than ten it yes it come inside the loop and it will check i is equal to equal to 5 yes it will break the loop it will break the for loop and it will get out of that loop so this the, this is the situation where you can use the for loop inside java okay okay so we have discussed about break now we will see what is continue in java okay so let me just copy out this code because I need this okay and at this I will instead of writing break I will write continue 
okay and i will i will execute the same code okay so here you can see what is going to get printed on the console is one two three four and five is skipped and six seven eight nine ten is printed on the console why so when the value of the uh, i is becomes 5 when i is equal to equal to 5 this if condition gets evaluated as true and continue this line number 11 is executed and what will continue will do it will skip that iteration for that loop it will not execute any of the code after the line number 11 and it will skip that loop and it will go for the incrementing of the value of the i and i's value becomes 6 and 6 is less than 10 and that's why 6 is going to get printed on the console okay so continue is used basically for to skip a particular iteration inside a loop okay so i hope you guys have understood this continue so last topic that we have remaining is java comments okay so let me just give you some example of the comments so as you can see these are the single line comments okay so here uh, comments and i will just explain you okay so this is a single line comment in java right now my java id is throwing so much error because this is not a java code this is just a simple english statement so if i want to comment this out i will just come here and just put two forward slashes and this that this becomes a single line comment inside java okay so let's suppose we have to declare a multi-line comment okay so i will write like this this is a multi-line comment in java so here two lines are there line number 17 and line number 18 are there that we have to comment so in that case we will write one forward slash and uh, followed by one asterisk and after when the at line number 18 end we'll write asterisk and one forward slash so guys this is the example of the multi-line comments inside java so now it when we talk about the documentation comment uh, there are a lot more example of the document coming documentation comments are there that is at author at code at version tag is there so these are some tags which are used in a multi-line comment we will be uh, discussing it in our upcoming videos when we solve uh, some high level hard level uh, java programs and in that we will create a documentation comments okay so that is it for this video guys and now we have officially uh, discussed all the topics which are comes under the control statements in java so in the next class onward we will be starting our uh, oops concepts in java and one more thing guys uh, i'll be giving you the exercise number two in the upcoming videos depending uh, dep uh, it the question that are asked in these exercise is whatever i tell i taught you to form till till now that on that on those topics that is for loop while loop do while loops all these topics requires as a prerequisite to solve that exercise so i hope guys i hope you guys will uh, solve that exercise and meet you soon thank you